Here is the second video about learning web development from scratch and this is a result of the first video so check it out. Let's move on. You learned previously that you can print something to the console by using console.log and by providing the argument in this case a string because in programming text is called a string so we provided hello and it is printed here. It can be way cooler and actually to make something at least barely valuable and useful we need to learn about variables. So let's type let previews equals 2021 semicolon let change equals one semicolon let result equals previous by the way you can pick from this autocomplete drop down plus change so it will be just to speed things up and type less i will explain it quickly now so we have the let keyword and the let keyword allows you to declare the variable. In this case, it is called previews. What we want to do is we want to assign some value to it on the right side. In this case, 2021, because it's, you know, the previous year. And semicolon as here, because it's end of the line. What is important here is that we are using the equal sign to assign the right side to the variable, in this case, previous. The next line is really similar. We also have let keyword followed by space. There is a new variable called change and we assign a different value, in this case one, because we want to increment this previous with one. Next line is also similar, but a bit different. We have again, let result and now we assign the addition of previews plus change. In the case of previews, it will be replaced by 2021 and with change it will be one. As you may know already, when we console.log and pass the result as an argument, we see here 2022 as expected because of course 2021 plus 1 is 2022 so a current year. Great, it may not be that awesome yet but you learn some things like declaring variables, assigning values, initial values, it's called initializing and here we also adding some stuff together and store the result. Of course it can be named differently but you know it's just a name what is also slightly new here is that here in this console log we pass the variable result instead of like a literal value like here and what is also different is here was the string and here is a number so you may think that in this case we could just wrote console.log 2022 and that would be fine, the result would be exactly the same. But in real code, like with real applications, you actually need to use variables to modify stuff, to store changes and so on. So you have to learn this. What I can show you also is that Let's say I will do something like that. Change equals 10. As you can see, I'm using the name of this variable declared one line above, but without let keyword because it can only be declared once, but because it is a variable, it can assign a different value later on. And this is what I actually do here. So. I'm reassigning from 1 to 10. As you can see the code re-executed and instead of 2022 we have 2031. If I remove it and wait to reload, 2022. So I also prepared a quick animation to demonstrate to you that. So in this animation the variables are boxes 
named boxes actually and we put some values to them so it's maybe more visual explanation for you this some of you guys and I also show the swapping of 1 with 10 and the uh, different result don't worry if something of that is like not perfectly clear for you at this point it will be way more useful later on with new videos I just want to keep the videos really small so I only show you some small pieces of information to you know digest and play with there is more stuff to cover about variables those will be presented in future videos so stay tuned check out the discord server so you can ask questions hang out with other people and even have some fun like playing games together watch the next videos in the series bye